Here's exactly how to connect Google Drive to make.com. I have some really simple step-by-step -step instructions that will have you set up in just a couple of minutes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just head over to console.cloud.google.com and sign in with your Google account. And if you don't have one, you can create one here. So once you're logged in, you'll be on a page that looks like this. And the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna come up to the top here and you wanna create a new project. And you can go ahead and name this project whatever you like. I'm just gonna call this make and no organization is fine. And then just go ahead and click create. And it's just going to take a couple seconds and Google is creating this project in the background. And okay, we're done. And all you want to do now is you just want to make sure that you've selected that project to work in. So come back up to the top here again and just go ahead and click into the project. And you can see it changes the name up here. So that's how you know we're in the right place. So the next thing you want to do is just come into the side panel over here and come into the API and services and go into the library. And this is basically where all the Google APIs are stored. And in order to connect to Google Drive, all you have to type in is Google Drive API. And here we go. It's this first one at the top here. Just click into that and make sure you click Enable. So this will allow us access to the Google Drive API. And okay, so we're now set up with the Google Drive API. If you want to enable other services like Google Docs or Google Sheets, just come back into the library here and type in Google Sheets, right? And you do go through the same process, the Google Sheets API and click into the API and go ahead and click enable. And while we're here, we'll just go ahead and we'll do the same thing for Google Docs so we have access to everything. Come back into API and services, go to library and we can type in Google Docs. And it's this first one here, Google Docs API and just go ahead and enable this as well. Now you don't need to do all three of these if you just want access to your Google Drive, but if you're going to be building scenarios inside of make.com, you might as well have access to all of them because I bet you're gonna use them. So the next thing we need to do is we need to enable our authentication. So come into this left panel here and just go into the OAuth consent screen. And once you're here, there's only one thing to do, click get started. And go ahead and give your app a name. We can go ahead and just call this make again and your email that you wanna use. Go ahead and click next. And it's up to you whether you do internal or external here because I don't have Google Workspace set up on this account. I have to do external. You can read more about them here in these links. Go ahead and click next and type in your contact information again. And click next one more time. And once you're done, just go ahead and agree to the data policy. Again, you can read this if you're interested and click continue and then click create. So the next thing we do is we need to create an OAuth client. So just go ahead and click that here. And we're just creating an application now that we can use to talk between Make and Google Drive. And the application type is going to be web application. And again, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and call that Make. Okay, so just go ahead and click plus to add the URI and paste this in. This is HTTPS make.com slash OAuth CB slash Google slash restricted. I'll leave this down in the description so you can just copy and paste it. And there's also one more that you need. So we're just going to go ahead and click add one more. And this is basically the same address instead of make.com. It's integromat.com. Uh, make used to be called integromat, but they switched the name. It's much better in my opinion. Uh, and we're good here. And so we can just go ahead. And now that we have these two in place. We can just go ahead and click create. This says it may take five minutes or an hour to take effect. It did not take that long at all. And now that we're here, we just need to add some scopes to this, which give make.com access. So if we come down here into data access, and we can go ahead and click on add or remove scopes. And if we just go ahead and type up top here, it's drive.read only. You can see here we have this read only scope, which is allows uh, Google Drive to pretty much do everything, see and download all your Google Drive files. So just go ahead and check that and go ahead and click update. Now you can see here we have the scope added right here to our application and just come in and click save. And the next thing you need to do is since we're in the uh, testing phase is you need to add yourself as a user uh, to the test users. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click add user. Go ahead, type my email address in and click save. And now that we've done that, you should be good to go to connect Google Drive to make.com. This information here is what's really important. You're going to need your client ID and this client secret down here, which you can just go ahead and copy or download. Uh, you can store these someplace safe, but this is always stored in your Google Cloud account for good measure. So now we can hop over to make.com and we're in a brand new scenario here. We can just click the plus and we can go ahead and type in drive. And it doesn't matter what we do here. We can just go ahead and you know watch all files. It doesn't matter. We're just creating a connection. And what we want to do is we want to add a connection here and we can call this uh, whatever we want. I'm just going to call this YouTube right now and want to make sure we check show advanced settings because this is where we need to put in that client ID and that client secret. 
don't share your ID in secret with anyone because then they have access to your Google Drive and we don't want that. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste these in and we click sign in with Google. This is going to prompt you to sign into your Google account. And you're next, you're going to be prompted with this screen. And you just want to make sure that you go ahead and click continue because we know that we trust this app. Click continue one more time. And just click this box here to uh, select what Integromat or make.com has access to. This is see and download all your Google Drive files and come down to the bottom and click continue. And this is verifying the connection. And there you go. We are all set up. We have now successfully connected Google Drive to make.com. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I make tons of videos on AI and automation like this one here about how to automate your entire LinkedIn profile with Make. I'll see you over there.